Hello beautiful sun rays, it's me Moray with the Fashion Designer Blog and I want to talk about why I decided to move to New York City. So I just want to make this disclaimer real quick. I had never saw myself move into New York City. This is not one of those I made it type of things. No, I never had a life plan that said at this age I want to be in New York City. I never wanted to come here. When I was 18 years old I wanted to move to LA. Yes. I wanted to go to Fashion Design College. I wanted to go to FIDM or California Design College, which was a part of the Art Institutes. But the price of tuition and room and board was not included. I was a little afraid. So if, if I'm afraid of my tuition cost and my cost of an apartment, which was going to be, just to give you an idea, back in 2005 is when I graduated high school. My rent was going to be $2,500. And it was going to be shared. It was a three-bedroom townhouse shared with three other people. Okay? If I was afraid to pay that, why would anyone think I would come to New York City? Where rent is probably double that with a smaller space. So no, New York City was not in my plans, but I'm here. So why I decided to move to New York City? Well, number one is the fashion capital. I don't care how much you try to run away from your dreams they will always follow you. For example, when I was 18, I saw that tuition cost and said I'm not going to go to school for fashion design. I'm going to go into the military. So I've been in the Air Force for 12 years now. I'm in the reserve and everything just came full circle. I ended up coming to New York City owning a fashion design company instead of going to school for it which was something I swear I did not plan to do this. Life just happened where I ended up here. Pretty much how life happened in such a way for me to end up here is number one, I lost everything. So that three bedroom apartment that I had and that two bedroom townhome, all of the things that I accumulated and thought I needed, I ended up losing it all. So I literally showed up to New York with a suitcase of what I had left in a fuck it attitude. And I made something out of nothing really fast now let me be a little honest i did cheat a little bit i came one summer for i would say like two weeks i think and i got an airbnb in inwood which is way up top in manhattan going into the bronx and i stayed there for i, I want to say I was there for two weeks i got an airbnb and i just wanted to try it out in the summer i said if i can try this out i gotta learn the subway i gotta learn how to catch a cab i gotta learn east and west my direction if i could do that in the summer and i feel comfortable i may move here so i did that i felt extremely comfortable and i said okay i'm gonna try so i said next time i'm coming i'm coming in the winter if i could deal with the winter then i'm gonna come so i came in the winter got another airbnb in west harlem it was beautiful beautiful airbnb and i said you know what i'm gonna do it and I got scared and I called my best friend up in Westchester and was like, let me come sleep on your couch because I'm afraid I don't want to make a decision that really isn't the right decision. So I stayed at her house on her couch for four months, y'all, deciding if I'm coming here or not. That's how much I was so afraid to move here. <laughs> I'm coming from South Florida up to New York for better opportunity. I was scared, y'all, scared. And I did not want to just jump into something, you know. I, I just didn't want to make the bad a bad mistake. It is expensive here. It is cold here. Why would I come here? Because it's the fashion capital. And there's so much opportunity here. Why not? And the attitude that I had at the moment was so just, fuck it. Just do it. It was the right time. It was just the right time. So I'm in Westchester and I'm like, okay, it's time for me to go. Make a decision. Are you going to move to the city or no? Or take your butt back to Florida or just take your butt back to Virginia? What you going to do, Sherelle? And I say, you know what? I'm doing it. Uh, I'm going to move to New York. Now, the number one reason why I personally moved here is because it is literally the land of opportunity. I came here with a suitcase, you guys. 
I had a little bit of stuff from everything that I lost and it's in storage still in Miami I don't even want that stuff anymore when I got here I learned how to be so efficient off of little to nothing it's ridiculous I don't even need all that extra stuff like having just stuff it just weighs you down all I need are my memories pictures that's all I really care about my son has outgrown all of his clothes so we don't need to go and get that I could go buy new clothes I could go buy everything else so Showing up here with just a suitcase was scary, but now I'm like, I got what I need. And you know what? The one thing that I need, it was my health. As long as I'm healthy, I'm good. So another reason why I got afraid to move here was the rent prices. They're insane. They're ridiculous. But, you know, there's opportunity to make the money to cover for whatever your rent is. My transition here wasn't very hard. It was mentally hard. So here I am about to pay rent for an apartment that is so small. But my apartment is pretty big. Um, so, you know, I got lucky. But here I am about to pay a rent price that my friends in Florida, the same price that they pay for a mortgage for a five-bedroom, two-bath house. And I'm about to come to New York and pay that in a rent and I don't even have two bedrooms to myself. I don't even have an apartment to myself. <laughs> Everything that I say sounds so crazy. Well, like, why did you move here? You got, if I did not move here, I find myself getting emotional. If I did not move here, the state, the mental state that I was in while I was in Florida, I would not be where I am mentally today. I got a challenge. And I feel like when I came here, this was a challenge. And it was just like, this is it. If I can do this, then I can do anything. So I came here literally off of just a self-gratification thing. Like, I'm being beat down in Florida. Life is falling apart for me in Florida. I cannot get it right. I can't get a job at the hospital because I don't speak Spanish. The military, is they ain't got no money. I can't work for them. I only can be a reservist and do my one week in a month. That ain't no money. What am I doing here? I'm going to New York and when I got here I got an opportunity at the hospital to work so I can pay my rent I can save up to get an office space so I can make more money I I got opportunity when I got here and that's all I needed I'm one of those people where just give me opportunity you can do whatever you want you ain't even got to give me the money but give me the opportunity and watch I kill it and I did. I came to New York. I got the opportunity, which was working at the hospital, and killed it. Got everything I needed in a matter of four months. An apartment. I got an office space. I got bedroom furniture. Like, everything I needed in four months. So, why else? There's no other reason other than to come to New York other than for opportunity. You got to come here with the act a mindset, though. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to New York. I had a plan. You know, it took me a while to figure out if I was coming here because I was afraid. But when I decided that I was moving to New York, I had a plan. I'm coming here for fashion. That's it. I'm going to use my degrees as leverage to build my company. I'm not going into debt. I'm not going to go get no credit cards or no loans or nothing like that. I'm going to go get a job and I'm going to pay for my dream with my job. Is it going to take a little longer? Yeah, sure, whatever. But I'm not going into debt trying to finance a dream or finance a company. I'm just not. So for me, coming here was a no-brainer. It's plenty of hospitals and stuff out here for me to use my degree. And I don't need to know Spanish like I did need it to know it in Florida. So another reason I moved to New York is because it's on the East Coast. I'm from the East Coast. I'm only six hours away from home, which is Virginia. If I would have went to LA, you know, I don't I don't know if the same opportunity is there. I don't know. I don't hear about people saying, oh, I went to LA and you know, in four months, I got XYZ. I have never heard that story before. I hear people being on couches and stuff for years. And I am too old for that. I needed a specific plan in action. And that was first, get a job and use that job to finance another means of income that will make more than that job. That's it. And I felt like New York City was the only place I could do that. The only place I could use my degree and get a good paying job that will finance 
my dream. So that's why I moved here. Now, some people be like, well, you could have went to like Dallas, Texas, and you know, got you a, a one-bedroom apartment for $800. Yeah, but what are the opportunities to get a good paying job that will finance what I'm trying to do? That was the disconnect. Fortunately, in New York, you can get a good paying job that will finance everything that you want. You just have to be very smart with your money. It's endless opportunity here. I'm still connected to the staffing agency that hires bartenders every now and then because I'm a certified bartender. So they can call me up and be like, hey, you want to bartend tonight? It's endless ways to make money out here to finance your dream. The one thing that I see what people do when they come here is they don't want a job. <laughs> you have to have some type of income in order to make it here. It's too cold. Y'all, it's too cold out here to be homeless, okay? And that was not what I was going to do. So I got a job. I have my office space. And what my ultimate goal is to use my job as leverage to make more money. That's it. Simple reason why I decided to come here. So I hope that makes sense, you know. I never saw this place in my mind. I saw LA, LA, LA from 18 on. I ain't never even stepped foot in LA, but I was like, I'm an LA girl. I need to go to LA, LA, LA. But um, I just didn't, I don't hear opportunity when I hear LA. When I think of New York, I just think opportunity. So call me crazy. Call me whatever you want. I'm abnormal. You know, I look at things so different. People, a normal person would have thought, okay, let's move to, you know, everything isn't going great in South Florida. Let's move back home and start over. Or a normal person would have been like, oh, let me move in with a family member and get on my feet. My crazy self said, no, I'm going to New York City. <laughs> like, who does that? <laughs> who does that? Me, Sherelle, I did it. And, you know, it worked. Sometimes, you know, being crazy ain't all that bad. Yo, I'm sitting here thinking like, I really did that. I did the complete opposite of what a normal person would think. A normal person would be like, okay, you know, I'm going to start my life over. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I'm going to go, maybe go home to mom, you know, get myself together. I went to Manhattan <laughs> with a suitcase and was like, oh, we're going to make this work, honey. And I did. I am going on being here a year, y'all. Can y'all believe that? It's going on a year. So that's why I moved to New York City. It gave me opportunity. And from that opportunity, I made something out of nothing. So understand, my point of view is coming from a single person, not married. Kid is with other parent. I'm free. Like all you single people with no kids and not married, you're free. Go do what you want. Stop letting money hold you back. I ain't have no money, y'all. I was just like lost out here i showed up with a suitcase but i had skill i had a degree and i used it and the opportunity and i had a bartending certificate i used it like i used all of my resources and i got everything i needed in four months four months another piece of advice is stop telling everybody what you're doing if i would have told somebody i was coming to new york with a suitcase and you know what type of backlash i would have got from that but because I was in my own head and I had my own mental thought of how I was going to do what I was going to do and left everybody out of the equation, I, I made it work because I had no other outside influence. So just keep it to yourself. You're grown. You're a grown person. You can do what you want to do and you'll make it work. Just stay focused. Opportunity here. Land of the opportunity. I'm telling you, man, if you want to do it, you can do it. Will I stay in New York? Probably. I love it here now. I can't believe I, I wish I would have chose here instead of when I was 18 instead of LA. Okay, guys. So that is my reason why I came to New York for opportunity and because this is the fashion capital.